Bible say about divorce and remarriage? Are you ready to learn the truth? And a lot of people has been asking me to touch up on this topic. And I'm going to admit that this is a very difficult topic. See, there's a lot of different opinions by various of preachers and teachers on this topic. Now I want to show you all a story in context between Jesus and the Sumerian woman that was married five times. Now, I want you to pay attention to what Jesus is going to tell her. Now, join me to the book of John chapter 4 and we're going to start at the 7th verse for the context. Let's read. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me drink. Okay, so Jesus is asking this Sumerian woman for a drink of water. And so what Jesus is essentially getting ready to do, he's getting ready to edify this woman on the difference between the water that he's asking her for versus, let's read. Drop down to verse 10 and the word of the Lord say, Jesus answered and said unto her, if thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that said to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him and he would have given thee living water. So Jesus is saying to the woman, if only you knew the gift of the most high God and who the person is that's asking you to give them water, you wouldn't even think twice about giving this water of yours to the person that's asking you to give him water because this person is asking you to give him water he can give you the living water what is the living water the living water is the living spirit of the most high god that jesus had manifested inside of him so this is the context of the story what i just read so far that's leading into what christ is about to break down about this woman having five husbands now like i said pay attention to what we're about to go through so now so far we have regular water versus for everlasting water drop down to verse 14 and the word of the lord say but whosoever drinketh of the water that i shall give him shall never thirst but the water that I shall give him shall be in him and well of water springing up into everlasting life. You see that? So this is going back to verse 10 about the gift of God. Who is the gift of God? Jesus Christ. We have to go through Christ to get to the Father. Meaning you have to believe in the spirit that was in Jesus so that same spirit can manifest itself inside of you. And then you will be able to walk up right with the Most High God. That is the Most High God's gift to humanity. Now let's continue to read for the understanding for what Jesus is about to say to her about being married five times. Verse 15 in the word of the Lord say, The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. So the woman wants the water that Christ has, which is the forever life. She wants the same spirit that Christ has inside of him. Now verse 16, the word of the Lord say, Jesus saith unto her, go call thy husband and come hither. So now Jesus is telling this Samaritan woman to go tell your husband to come here. So now let's see this Sumerian woman's response to Jesus. Now remember, let's stay within the context of what's going on. What are we talking about? We were talking about regular water versus the living water. The living water is forever lasting life. That's what that's talking about. So now let's see what this is talking about. What we're about to read about her husband. Verse 17 in the word of the Lord say, The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. Verse 18, For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that saidest thou truly. Remember, 
What have we been reading about this whole time? From verse 7 to verse 10 to verse 15, we have been reading about regular water versus forever lasting water. What is that forever lasting water? The gift of God. What is the gift of God? Jesus Christ. He is the forever lasting water. And the Samaritan woman knew this. That's why when Jesus told the Samaritan woman to tell her husband to come over here, the woman, she said that that is not her husband. And Jesus told her that she was truthful about what she was saying. Because remember what they were talking about the whole time. The living water versus the regular water. So in this same story, it's talking about the living husband versus the regular husband. Meaning the flesh versus the spirit. That's what it's talking about. The spirit is forever lasting. Who is this Samaritan woman's forever lasting husband? Jesus Christ. This is why Jesus was saying that the Samaritan woman was being truthful. Jesus is the forever lasting husband. The woman is the bride of Christ. We all are the bride of Christ. We are to marry Jesus Christ for life. This is not talking about your current husband is not your current husband because you were already married before. That's not what Christ was saying to her. And the women also understood that. And I want you people to all notice something. Notice that Jesus never accused her of sin. He never judged her. He never once called her an adulteress. We need to keep this in mind as we continue with this lesson. Now, however, a lot of people has experienced a divorce and a lot of people are going to suffer a divorce even if they don't want one. So that being said, now we got to see what the Bible says about this topic. But I'm going to start in the Old Testament first because it lays down the foundation of the conversations that Jesus and Paul give us in the New Testament. Now, jump me to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 24, the first verse and the word of the Lord say, when a man have taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes. Here it is. Because he have found some uncleanness in her that let him write her a bill of divorcement and give it in her hand and send her out of his house. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where the Bible substantiates where and how you can get a divorce. For all you Bible thumpers out there, y'all always quick to say, oh, you are an adulteress if you get a divorce. No, that is an absolute lie. Because if that is true, that is a contradiction to the scripture that I just read right here in the book of Deuteronomy 24. But like the Bible says, if a man finds his wife to be unclean, meaning she was spiritually unclean, Meaning she became a practicing Muslim or she became a stripper and she started to foul on her body or she became a, a porn star for a living or, or whatever. But those are the reasons for a man to divorce his wife. Now let's see, can this same woman that just got a divorce, can she get remarried again without being an adulteress? Join me to the next verse and the word of the Lord say, and when she is departed out of his house, meaning her ex-husband house, she may go and be another man's wife. No, an adulterer. Another man's wife. No, a sinner. Another man's wife. No, you stuck with this man for the rest of your life or until he died. Another man's wife. You see that? Another man's wife. When a woman gets the divorce, she can go on and be another man's wife, not an adulterer. Now, let's go on to the New Testament and let's see, does it lines up with the Old Testament what I just read in Deuteronomy 24? Join me to the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 31. And the word of the Lord say, it hath been said, meaning this was already said, what I just read back in the book of Deuteronomy 24, what Moses said. Let's continue to read. Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. Wow. It says the same exact thing in the New Testament as it says in the Old Testament. 
Now this is Christ speaking now. So is Christ a liar to all you Bible thumpers out there? Now let's read the next verse, verse 32. And you have to be very careful when you're reading this verse. Because I think this is one of the verses that a lot of people get confused by. Let's read. But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, committeth adultery. Now you have to pay attention to what you are reading. The scripture verse 32 says, saving for the cost of fornication. That means except for the cost of fornication. Let's read this again, verse 32 in its context. But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife except for the cost of fornication, meaning whosoever put away their wife besides the cost of fornication, this is what causes her to commit adultery. Because remember, you can't put your wife away for anything. It has to be for the cost of fornication or being unclean. So what Matthew 5 and 32 is saying that it's not a real divorce. If somebody try to divorce their wife, even with paper for no reason, it has to be a reason. And God, he already showed the reason, which is fornication, which is an unclean spirit. That's why I said that Deuteronomy 24 verse 2 lines up perfectly with Matthew's chapter 5 verse 31 through 32. Christ is saying here that we can't get a divorce for any and everything. It has to be a reason. And that reason is sin, fornication. For example, let's say if your wife gets vaccinated, that's a reason to get a divorce. Why? Because that is spiritual fornication. Because you're making that vaccine your God. It's only one most high God. That is the only savior of all. This goes back to earlier in the video when I said that let's say if your wife wanted to start being becoming a practice of Muslim, something like that. That's called spiritual fornication because you're trying to commemorate another God. So you can get a divorce for things like that of wickedness. When, when your wife becomes wickedness, that is when the most high God is okay with us getting a divorce from our wives. All Christ is saying that you cannot divorce nobody for no reason. That's all he's saying. Now, if a man divorces his wife for no reason, that is what causes a woman to be an adulteress. If that woman decides to marry again, that is when they both, the man and the woman, becomes an adulteress. So family, I pray that this video was edifying. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the subject of divorce is a very difficult topic. And I understand for the people who has experienced divorcement, I understand how devastating it can be. I want to make this disclaimer up front because I don't encourage anybody to get a divorce. If you are having some difficulties in your marriage, please seek the Most High God. And if it's his will, seek counseling. And even outside of counseling, y'all try to talk it out, work it out. Like, whatever issues that y'all have with one another, try to get through it or get through it. Because, thus says the Lord, your divorce doesn't matter if it's outside of fornication. It's your boy, Brother Kwame, from the Lion of Judah Teach channel. And I am praying for many of you that are struggling with your other significant and that struggling on this topic. Because many of you all need some help because there's some of you all that's stuck in marriages because y'all are afraid to get a divorce from a person that's abusive to you, a person that's cheating on you, a person that has sold their soul to the devil. A lot of you people are stuck in marriages like that because y'all don't understand the topic of divorce. But here you go. I hope this was edifying. For you truth seekers out there, Shalom.
out of this place.